Hi, I'm Dr. Mark, and I'm going to help you sing and perform more like the top artists around the world. I'm a professional voice teacher, performance coach, and opera stage director. I've helped thousands of singers around the world learn the techniques and methods that got the top singers to where they are. Let's talk about what makes Diana Ankudinova so awesome in her performance of It's a Man's World. Here we go. Okay, that opening is so tricky. It's tricky because she has no clue of when really we're gonna hear that first note, right? And when that recording's really gonna go. So she just kinda, kinda guessed a little bit. But really cool, she's able to make those hands line up really well with what's going on music-wise. She made something of that music, right? She helped us understand what that opening bit was before we get to this chill vibe underneath that, right? So physically, She's helping us understand what's going on in the music. This is really important going forward in this song because knowing this song, it is really stylistic. It asks for so much kind of funk and sass and you can't just do normal human naturalistic behavior. It calls for something more, something with more character and more sass. And so she set this up gorgeously right here at the beginning. If we didn't have that at the beginning, then we kind of be shocked when later on, I'm guessing we're probably gonna see some more movement that matches the style of the music that we're about to hear. Let's see what happens. So much intensity. Love it. Okay, this is hard. Try doing this. If this is not part of your normal action behavior, try to pull off the same stuff. It is so hard to make it convincing, especially if you're this young girl, to pull off the intensity and the commitment on a song where musically it's so smooth, right? Vocally, it is where it all has to happen. All the expression, all the intensity has to be right on that performer. The music is just laying underneath it, not really giving a whole lot of extra support behind that. It's all carried by the singer. And so this intensity that we're seeing with the body really matches this accent moment of the words and of the music that helps our ear to retranslate this mellow music going on behind it as not being quiet in terms of its mute or low energy, but it's this really humming intense energy that's riding below it. And it really makes us pay attention to the words and what she's doing with her body. She's accenting what she's doing, not just musically, but she's accenting the text of what she's singing. So really pay attention to what her body is communicating there. She's really doing an excellent job trying to tap into the intensity and the emotion of probably a culture and music that is probably not super native and comfortable to her and doing an excellent job. And baby boys. Those amazing thoughts You have to make it make everything Everything you can You know that man makes money <laughs> So right from all the men This is a man's world Okay, the key to this song, what can we learn here? Is that learning how to speak text especially in a foreign language, in a way that's expressive. So we're accenting the right syllables, the right words, and we're giving this ebb and flow to 
what's being communicated is so important, especially with a song like this. That's always like on this bridge of talking, preaching, singing. It's constantly go kind of going through those. And to be able to negotiate that, it's all got to be tied together by the text, natural accents being consistent and being expressive and that being the center of what's happening. That's what ties it all together. Otherwise, the different sounds, the different colors, the kind of abrupt changes and where it's going sounds disjunct and sounds like a mistake. But it doesn't here because she's tying it together all by this text and also by the consistency of her technique. We can tell it's consistency due to technique because it matches what the music and the words are saying and it's not being dictated by the notes or by the dynamics. That's what we can take away from this. Try it. If you've never tried doing a song in a foreign language, try it. After you do, you'll come to performances where you see people doing work like this and in a foreign language and connecting with it and owning it so completely. And you'll have a newfound respect for how difficult that can really be. Without Notice how relaxed her body is, but so expressive, right? She's using every part of her body to be super expressive and to move and everything, but she's keeping that neck and this vocal mechanism really released and open and free. We're not seeing a rigid kind of intensity. It's this really super flexible, expressive, constantly moving and shifting type of energy that makes it so our voice doesn't lock up, our breath doesn't get tight, it doesn't get stuck. As you can probably tell, one of my favorite things about watching Diana is that she's so expressive, looks so comfortable on stage, no matter what she's doing. I also really love how expressive her voice is, how many different colors and sounds and textures she's able to get with that voice while making it sound like it's all on purpose, it's all intentional, at the same time having it so it doesn't sound rigid or forced or pre-planned. It still sounds spontaneous, but if we look at it close enough, it's clear that she is so connected with what she's communicating and has been so deliberate about the choices she's making. I hope that Diana has some new stuff here soon. Love watching her stuff. Hope you did too. If you want a voice lesson or performance coaching, want me to work with you or your group to help you sing easier, perform at a consistently higher level, book a time with me at mrperformingartsstudio.com. You can also find me on scaleabout.com to book shorter sessions or get immediate feedback or critiques on your singing. I look forward to working with you online.